Hey guys, it's Mr. Grable again. We are working on the Go Math third grade chapter 11 review for the test, and it really focuses on perimeter and area. We are on number six. Number six reads Vanessa uses a ruler to draw a square. The perimeter, pay attention to that T, it goes all the way around. Remember, we have to add. Of the square is 12 centimeters. Square is another important vocabulary word. Remember, a square is a special kind of rectangle. A rectangle, four sides, four angles. Um, a square is a special kind of rectangle because all four sides are equivalent or the same value. Select a number to complete the sentence. So we have to find the perimeter, but the perimeter is 12, but we have to figure out what each side is. And each side is going to be the same. So a problem like this, our equation is blank plus blank plus blank plus blank because there's four sides equals 12. So this gives us some options to plug in. So let's do a little test here. So the square has a side length of three centimeters. Let's do three plus three plus three plus three. Six plus six, well, 12 equals 12. So I got lucky, it was the first one. Let's, just to practice, let's take a look at um, what, there was, what this would look like if we guessed incorrect the first time. So it is three centimeters, three times four is 12. If I did three plus three plus three plus three, that does equal 12. Let's go ahead and let's do five centimeters. So it would be blank plus blank plus blank plus blank equals 12. Let's say I guessed five first. Five plus five plus five plus five equals 12. Well, that's 10. That's 10. 20 does not equal 12. So, no, it's not 5. Now, I would do the same thing with the 4 and with the 6, and I would find out that those don't equal 12. So, 3 centimeters was correct. Um, there's a little bit of multiplication in there with that repeated addition if you wanted to use it. But really, draw out your equations for perimeter and add. All right, let's go on to the next question. Number seven. Number seven reads, Thomas drew two rectangles on grid paper. Circle the words to make the sentence true. So this is a little bit of a longer problem. So we have A, we have B. What you should be doing on your scrap piece of paper is drawing rectangle A and rectangle B. They don't have to be exact because we're going to label them anyway. So this is three by four. So I'm going to go ahead and label the sides. And I know opposite sides in a rectangle are equivalent. B is 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So go ahead and label these. This always first off. Rectangle A has an area. That's going to be one of these compared to rectangle B. So i got to find the area for A, and i got to find the area for rectangle B. Area is the space inside, so 3 times 4 is 12 units squared, and the area for B would be 2 times 6, because area is the space inside. See that multiplication symbol? So 2 times 6 is 12 units squared. Oh, rectangle A area is the same is the area for rectangle B. And now this question keeps going. And a perimeter that is blank than the perimeter of rectangle B. So now I gotta find the perimeter for these. Perimeter equals, perimeter equals. Perimeter, space around. So three plus four is seven. Seven plus three is 10. 10 plus four is 14. 
just units. We're not counting the squares inside, so just 14 units for the perimeter. The perimeter here for B, 2 plus 6 is 8, 9, 10, and then 10 plus 6 is 16 units. So rectangle A's perimeter is less than the perimeter of rectangle B. So this problem was a couple of problems in one, but really we're just finding the area and perimeter for two different rectangles and comparing them. Reading this paragraph and these fill in the choice, um, fill in the blanks here, is a little tricky, so read it carefully. If you have questions, be sure to ask me. Number eight. Yoji drew this figure on good paper. What is the perimeter space around this figure? So I'm going to zoom in a little bit because my eyes are getting old. So perimeter space around. All right, I got that. Let's start here, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen units. Make sure that you're very careful around these steps. Lots of times kids count the corners. Perimeter is not counting the corners or the vertexes. It's counting the number of sides. So be careful with your counting on a problem like number eight. Number nine, what is the area of the figure shown? Each unit square is one square meter. So area, the space inside, and we're doing meters. So space inside, problem like this, I just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. It's very important that you show how you are counting because you don't want to count a square twice. Um, there's a couple of different ways to count, but you need to make sure that you're doing it in a logical way and that you're marking so you don't count something twice. Number 10. Sean drew a rectangle that was two units wide and six units long. Draw a different rectangle that has the same perimeter but different area. Number 10 is a tough problem. Lots of times kids really get thrown off with this blank here because they think that this is Sean's rectangle. This is not Sean's rectangle. We're going to um, draw our new rectangle here. So we got to really focus here. This is going to be some trial and error. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to draw Sean's rectangle here. So here's Sean's rectangle. And it was two units wide and six units long. So we have to find the perimeter and the area. So the perimeter for his would be 2 plus 6 plus the 2 plus the 6 up here. So 2 plus 6 is 8, 9, 10, then 10 plus 6 is 16. The area, the space inside is 2 times 6 equals 12. So this was his first rectangle. Now we're supposed to draw a rectangle that has the same perimeter. So our perimeter is going to have to be 16, but it's going to have a different area. So area, I don't know yet. So this is really tough. So we want to start here. We're going to have to do a perimeter of 16. We could just start drawing until we get a perimeter of 16. Or we can find half of 16, and that's half of 16 is 8. What are some different ways to make 8? Well, 2 plus 6 is 8. But let's just do, let's do 4 plus 4. So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we'll finish off this rectangle here. And we'll take a look. Perimeter 16. Area is now 16, which is different. So 
that's one example. There's other ones.